Here's your WNEM TV5 news update. Good Monday morning, everyone. I'm Colette Stinger. Here's a look at the top stories we're following today. Today is a rescheduled sentencing for a man who pleaded guilty in the shooting of two CMU students. Kenneth Thomas Jr. will now be sentenced today at 115. That shooting happened almost a year ago during a party at an off-campus apartment complex. One of the victims was CMU quarterback John Keller. Thomas pleaded guilty to two felony charges, including discharging a weapon. He could face up to 20 years behind bars. Well, Safe and Sound Child Advocacy Center kicks off its month-long celebration of events for Child Abuse Prevention Month. The Pinwheels for Prevention Ceremony is from noon until 1. It's on the Midland County Courthouse lawn. The Chief of Midland's Police Department, Nicole Ford, is the honorary speaker. Well, for those wanting to get vaccinated or get your booster against COVID, there's an opportunity today in Saginaw. The Saginaw County Health Department is teaming up with East Side Soup Kitchen to offer shots, the vaccine. The clinic will be at the kitchen on East Genesee Avenue from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. It's open to anyone. Now here's Matthew with a look at your forecast. And we do have some active weather that we started off with earlier this morning that did actually bring some hail to the area too. We had a one inch hail report come in in northern Gratiot County near the Elma area as those storms moved through. But as we go through the rest of the daytime, we'll start to see that rain moving off to the east here and actually by around 10 o'clock this morning, already looking at some drier weather as well. Around midday will also be dry and the few peaks of sunshine are going to be possible before clouds and a few light showers return in the afternoon uh, on this Monday lining up right around dinner time and into that evening drive. But then as we head into Monday night, we dry out and skies actually start to clear out, leading to more sunshine on Tuesday morning with only partly cloudy skies returning Tuesday afternoon. It's into Wednesday. We're watching a larger system that could bring some more prolonged rain to the area. A few thunderstorms embedded in there as well, and especially the cold front that passes through late Wednesday in the evening into Thursday morning. That cold front will bring some windy conditions on Thursday, but if all the conditions line up correctly, we are talking a low end chance for some severe weather on Wednesday afternoon into the evening as well. So that is something we will continue to keep an eye on. But for this Monday, looking at a warmer day too. If you thought the 50s on Sunday were warm, we're looking at lower 60s for your highs later on this afternoon. Holding on to those 60s for your Tuesday, 70 on Wednesday before we cool back off to the 50s and eventually 40s by the end of the week. Remember to tune into WNEM TV 5 on air and online 24-7 for the latest news, weather and information.